the ability of this team to go on the road and get some big wins has evolved over the course of the season. How have you seen that away confidence grow? Yeah, I, I, you know, early we had those tough ones, uh, real early, and I think we lost some confidence and then was able to, to gain some of that back just by how we started playing together and just building confidence together um, on, on either at home or on the road. And I think now with the way the fans are so supportive of us, either home or away, it kind of gives you a feel of a, a home game sometimes out on the road. So, you know, we just uh, go into it with we got to do the best we can on the offensive end and do what we need to do. And then on the defensive end where we've really tried to improve, uh, make sure we're, we're doing the schemes and at the level that we need to have a, a chance to win. The win on Sunday when you gave up 109. So what's the message when you get back in these, these couple of days? <laughs> yeah, well, my, my first message was a great game for the fans to watch, right? I mean, it was a lot of offense, which was, was excellent. But we, you don't win against the, you know, the teams in the league. You've got to be able to get stops and defend. And then also, that's where we're at our Best. We've got to get stops so we can get out in transition. How much do you like having just one game this week and you can kind of probably split time between the playoffs and wrapping up the regular season? Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, we've been every other day, right? So it's just trying to figure out what gets us ready for Sunday because that's, you know, what we're, we're aiming for, like what gets our body ready. I've talked to several, you know, Todd and I have talked a lot and some other physios and just trying to figure out what was needed today to get ready for Thursday, but then really Sunday. Beyond just getting a win Thursday, what's the most important thing to get out of that as you head into next week? Just, just momentum and, and just trying to, you know, find a way to um, get – on the offensive end, like just keep the momentum going as opposed to how we're shooting the basketball, get out and run in transition. Um, and then defensively, I mean, they're they're fighting for their lives, right? So we want to make sure that we are uh, working on things that are going to help us on Sunday. We've seen Dan here in many practices. How much has he and others been a resource for you heading into the playoffs for the first time as a leader? Yeah, I had reached out to Dan um, during the Olympic break just to have somebody to talk to. I think this is his second time here with us, and he's been awesome. Just somebody that I can bounce some ideas off of. Um, you know, he's coached the Superbirds and the uh, Becky Hammonds and, and people like that and won championships. Um, so just anything I can get from him is just, you know, during this time to help these guys uh, be successful has been awesome. We've asked you a lot about Kelsey, the player and leader, but she was here for both of your stints. What does being a franchise mainstay mean? For what her voice means, what she means to you specifically. Golly, yeah, Kelsey, you know, able to draft her, knew what she was going to do as the, you know, for the future of the franchise, and she had some really hard times here, and, and the resiliency that she showed, and hung in there, and um, just showed up and was a true professional, did her job. I, there's just so much respect for somebody who continues to do that, and I think now with the pieces that are around her, I mean, you're just seeing her do things that she's never been able to do before, um, and it's also given her like. Um, more of a, she's, she's become more of a leader as well, more of a vocal leader when she wasn't back in the past. Really proud of her. When you came back, did you have to ask her, what's different, what's the same, all that, like a checklist or anything like that? No, we didn't talk about any of the, <laughs> any of the past. We were just moving forward, looking ahead. Where has her experience and leadership paid off for most of this You know, I think for me, I think it's really been her growth on the defensive end as a defensive player. I mean, she's she's picked up the best defense, you know, the offensive, best offensive players on the other teams. Um, for a while now. I mean, so she's having to play against the toughest on one end and then be really good for us on the other end. And she's like the little motor that doesn't stop, right? Like she just like keeps going. It's like she gets better and better. Um, but just so proud of what she's done and how much she's improved on that end of the floor. With how this city and this fan base is reacting to the regular season of games, what do you think it'd be like if you guys can bring a home playoff game back for the first time in years? Oh man. I mean, that's, that's the goal to get back here and um, to give these guys another opportunity to, to, to play at home in front of these amazing fans. I mean, it's been like finals basketball every night that we're here. I mean, it is like that's what it sounds like in the arena. Um, the the energy is incredible. It's just been a great experience, and these guys, they deserve that. These players deserve that kind of environment. So yeah, tonight, will you be keeping an eye on these games, or will you go to sleep? With no, I'm going to be sleep? watching all the games yeah. tonight. For sure. <laughs> Yeah, Christy, kind of to go off that, I asked Kaylin something similar about, you know, Tuesday, Thursday, you'll figure out where you go. Um, do you care? And between, you know, the three places you might be going, who do you think you've matched up the best with the season? Minnesota, Connecticut, and Las Vegas? Yeah, I don't really know exactly. Like, I don't, I mean, either three will be a tough, a tough matchup, and we just had Vegas at home. Um, you know, we beat Connecticut the last time we played them, so that might give us, you know, some confidence. But to go to Connecticut, it's a really hard place to play. I think Minnesota is one of the, I mean, maybe the best team in the league right now. They're playing so well. Um, it'll be a tough matchup. You know, we'll have to bring our best game on both ends of the floor. 
Um, and that's what that's what we plan to do. I mean, these guys they keep talking about like we're not just happy that we made the playoffs. Like we want to make a run in these in these playoffs. It's going to be any of these teams will be a tough matchup, and um, we'll have to bring our best game. Thank you. Did Kelsey, when you got here, pass down any sort of tips about the franchise? Specifically? I'm not talking like general, generic veteran tips, but you've just been with the Beaver for so long. Is there any stuff about Indianapolis, Indiana, this group that just shared any of it stuck with you? Um, I wouldn't say so necessarily. I think, especially because she's had quite a few different coaches, and this is, you know, Kelsey's second year um, with her. So I feel like we're still kind of navigating that together. Um, oh, yeah, stop, please, back there. But no, I wouldn't change to say she was like too much about Miss Beaver and what we do because I feel like we're still trying to build that and find our identity at the same time. So I feel like it was more so like navigating it as her being a veteran here and knowing how the league goes and then maybe. How much of a resource has it been to have Connor and just from a basketball standpoint? And how proud are you of him of getting that new role? Yeah, I'm super excited for him. Um, obviously, his basketball knowledge is, is pretty good and it makes it fun. Like, you, know, you can bounce ideas off of each other. So, um, yeah, I, I think just super proud. He works super hard for that. And um, it'll be fun, fun to go to those games. I mean, I love college basketball. Uh, obviously, he's been around it his whole life and really like invested a lot into it. So, um, I think it'll be fun. Give us some, give me something to do all throughout the off season as well. Something, somebody to root for. But it's definitely still go Hawks for sure as well. Is, is he the one you're coming into the gym with, like late night hours or anything like that often? Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's always something that we've kind of shared that bond with. Um, I think also having to navigate like when to rest my body and when to get in the gym and do extra shots. But that's definitely something we love is like coming in here shooting late at nights or having some shooting competitions. It gets a little heated. I definitely outshoot him way more than he outshoots me, but he tries to think otherwise. Can you pick his coaching brain a little bit? Bounce some ideas off of him maybe? Oh uh, yeah. I think more than anything though, he's just very supportive and kind of lets me do my thing. And that's something I really appreciate about him is just his support and his passion for basketball. But I mean, if I definitely have an idea, it's, it's good to bounce bounce it off him and he's very honest he definitely tells me when I'm wrong too and that's something I appreciate as well did you guys get into this one more game playoffs next what's is there a different mentality now um I mean going into this last game like we're still going in there to compete and to win and we know Washington's competing for that last playoff spot as well too so we expect it to be a very very highly competitive game um obviously we don't know our opponents still so you're still kind of waiting around for that and um, I think for us, like, you know, no matter who it is, we believe we can win, we believe we can go on the road and, and win a game, and who knows, maybe two, but at least one to try to get it back here and have our fans behind us to try to win the third game. So um, I think we're excited. We're continuing to work hard, trying to refine some things. Like today we came in here and we were pretty competitive for about an hour. So um, I feel like we still have some areas to improve and just continue to refine so our habits are good going into the playoffs. And, um, I think we're all ex excited to get there at the same time. Yeah, Caitlin, to go off that, games today and Thursday are going to decide where you guys are going to go play. Um, do you have a preference of, of, of where you want to go between Minnesota, Connecticut, Vegas? I mean, I don't have a preference, no. I think that would be kind of crazy. Um, I just think, you know, wherever we go, we go. You prep the same exact way as you would prep for anybody else. Um, same way you prepped all season long. Obviously, there's a little more on the line, but, um, you know, it's basically basically going to be new for every single person in our franchise minus a few players um, and obviously maybe a few coaches um, so I think just continue to prep the way we have whoever we get we get and you're happy about it you're happy to be there and then you believe you can compete, can compete against them when you think about the crowds you've had all season do you think that is going to ratchet up a little bit if you do get that home playoff game here in Indy? There's no way. There's no more space for them to go. Those are still in standing room only. I mean, they've been incredible all year long. I mean, maybe they can be a little louder, but they've been absolutely incredible, especially over this last homestand. Um, they've been a, a lot of fun. It's been fun to play in front of them. I think every single person would say, like, getting to go out there and hear, their, hear the noise they make, especially in the fourth quarter every single night. It's, it's pretty incredible, and um, I think they helped us to a, to a lot of wins, especially the second half of the, the season after the break. So uh, I don't know how many more people we can fit in there. I feel like the crowds have been basically full to the brim, um, but who knows? Maybe they'll sell some, like, stadium room only, or I, I don't know. Maybe we'll find some really obnoxious fans to get close to the court as well. This team Last has one. found some road success this season. How is that confidence to be able to travel and get some wins evolved over the course of the season? Yeah, I think we've done. We've had some big wins on the road versus some really good teams, and uh, that definitely gives you some some confidence. Um, I think just using that, um, like I've said, we go from game to game and continue to build our confidence, and you have seen it grow every single game. Um, 
but I mean, it's the playoff. The atmosphere is going to be, you know, intense. People are going to be competing super hard um, to be competitive. Um, but that's what you sign up for. That's what it's all about. That's what makes this game so fun. Um, and I think everybody's going to step up to that challenge and, and really enjoy it. All right, thank you, everybody. Thank you. So this season for you has been, I assume, in many ways, fun, maybe unexpected. Where, how would you, you know, put into words what's happened over the course of the season for you? I think it's just it's really exciting. I know coming into this season, we had higher expectations with, you know, the rookie we brought in. So we didn't know what that was going to come with. We didn't know exactly how the fans would react, but it's exceeded our expectations, I think. Um, especially comparing it to the first half of our season now, heading into, you know, our last game and then heading into the playoffs. It's just, I feel like we have a lot of momentum and we're just really excited to see where we are today. Yeah, Lexi, you still, you guys still have a job to go into Washington and get a win, but, you know, the other day you just got 20 wins, first time since 2015. Behind the scenes, how much fun is this team having, you know? Because uh, there's always the comments on TikTok, there's the dancing videos, just what, what's that like? Winning is fun, and, you know, it's way easier to have fun, it's way easier to have joy on the court when things are going well, so we're enjoying each other's company, we're enjoying each other on the court and off, so... It's just great. It's a great atmosphere. There's a lot of energy in the city surrounding us, so it's just great to be here in Indy. Did you know Caitlin before she came here? No, no. I just saw her. I watched her play, obviously, a bunch, and didn't know what she'd be like, and just, you know, really happy she's here. Are you guys, like, how would you characterize? Are you good friends? Yeah, great? we're good friends. We, we hang out a good amount, and she's just she's a fun person to be around. Just when it comes to the TikTok, how does it come about that you and Erica start switching outfits? <laughs> it started just a random random game i can't remember if we were in washington i don't remember where the first game was but everyone was like you guys the style is drastically different it's basically opposite let's see if it would work on you and then we tried i tried on her outfit and just was funny and fun and lighthearted. and from then on out it just became part of our pregame routine when you talk about the energy in this city does it give you any more extra motivation to win at least one of those first playoff games to guarantee a home playoff game the first time here in years totally yeah i mean that's what we want. We want to play here in front of our fans, bring excitement back. And I mean, I was here during the off season for some of the Pacers um, playoff run, and those games are just so electric, so fun to be at. And I can't even imagine how fun to play in. So hopefully we can do that. Is there anything you feel like this team needs to sharpen this week and in that final game ahead of the postseason? I think we need to sharpen our defense. It's going to come down to that. I think we have let up a little bit. I mean, obviously, allowing a team to score over 100 is an ideal. So making sure that we're locked in and, and limiting our opponent's offense. What did it mean last week to kind of have your sister here for your birthday and kind of just have your family for you so much throughout the entire season? It's amazing. I had, you know, a house full of people. People had to stay in hotels. So it's really fortunate for them that they were able to come and support me and show the love. And, I mean, I'm, I'm a family person, so having them around really makes me happy. And, so, and talking about the energy in the city, has there been any specific instances that you remember or maybe you've been walking around or you've been somewhere, and, you know, people bumped into you, said hello, things like yeah, that? Yeah, it's definitely, a, a, there's a lot more people talking about it, knowing our players. Um, I mean, just walking, going on a walk, people rolling down their windows and screaming out, like, go fever. It's pretty cool. And it, it's very exciting that, you know, people in the city are excited about this team. All right, thank you.